Tuesday and you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works with me, Texas Danielle. This week's topic is three um, weight loss surgery rules that you live by and why they're important as a weight loss surgery patient. Um, <clears throat> no particular order for these for me. Um, three rules I live by, well, actually, you know I'm going to say this is probably one of the most important ones to me, is surround yourself with healthy food choices. Um, I have learned that if it's in the house, and I'm not supposed to have it, meaning ice cream, carbs, sugar, pastries, uh, alcohol, whenever I'm not pregnant. <laughs> um, those are things that I will go for if they're in the house and within reach. So I try to stock my house with healthier things for me. Um, right now, it's not that easy since Keith and I are living with my mother. Um, where we're getting things situated here in Texas. So they are not on the same kind of diet or lifestyle that I live. Uh, they eat all these good, yummy things. And I was pretty good about avoiding them for a while, but now it's just it's getting pretty hard because I'm like, mm, I'm pregnant, I want sugar again, and this and that. So um, surrounding yourself with good food. Um, another good rule to live by is, at least for me, is surrounding myself with weight loss surgery people or people who know about um, my dietary changes or needs. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so that is pretty important to me because they'll help keep me on track or uh, they'll, at least they know, like if we're all doing something and I'm like, oh, I'll do no, no bread on my sandwich today or something like along that line. They don't think I'm completely crazy. They know that <coughs> there's a reason I'm doing things the way I do them. Another rule for me is to get moving, and that does not mean exercise in my opinion. Uh, yes, exercise is very important, but just to get moving. Take a walk around the block. You don't have to go out and do 30 minutes. Park further away. Take the stairs. Um, just things that you didn't do pre-lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> I will admit, since moving to Texas, I only go up two flights of stairs at the school, but I do have a class on the third flight of stairs. I have been taking the elevator. That's because I'm carrying 40 pounds of books. Plus a growing baby in me. <laughs> um, so I know that sounds like a horrible excuse. But I just do not have the lung capacity that I, I have when I'm not pregnant. Um, but pre-pregnancy I was always taking the stairs. Uh, so those are the rules I have. Surround yourself with good food. Surround yourself with good people. And uh, be active. Just get moving any way you can. Um, like I said, park for the way, take the stairs. So yeah, I hope that is good enough for you guys. Sorry, it's a short video. I don't know when my phone me memory is going to cut out on me. Sorry I missed last week in case you can't tell. My voice is a little, eh. I feel a lot better, sound worse, but I was sick. Baby was sick. Uh, it was not a good, good, it was not a good week at my house. It was a bad week. Um, but yeah, all right guys, have a good day. I'll see you on Next week for another proof way loss as works. Bye.